it's Jackie, and for today's tutorial, you'll be getting ready with me for a fall day. I've teamed up with CoverGirl to show you this bold, but still very wearable fall look using their new So Lashy Mascara. I'm in love with this thing, you should definitely check it out, it's become my little secret weapon. So I hope you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials, and let's get into it. Starting with moisturized skin, I'm using CoverGirl's Clean Matte BB Cream. I squeeze out a nickel size amount and I pat it onto the skin with a beauty sponge to even out the tone of my skin. For extra coverage in areas where I have some discoloration or redness, like under my eyes, around my chin, as well as around my nose, I like to apply CoverGirl's Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in a slightly lighter shade. This will help brighten up the skin, cover up any discolorations as well, so it's a two-in-one product, we get a little highlighting in there, and set the skin makeup with a bit of powder. And to cut back on a step, instead of using an eye primer, I'm just using the BB cream, a little concealer, and some powder to make sure my eyelids are prepped. CoverGirl's True Blend Bronzer is one of my favorites. I'm just adding some definition under my cheekbone, jawline, down my neck, and then I also am adding touches to my forehead and cheeks for a healthy, sun-kissed look. I always say this, but it's completely optional to go in and contour your nose. How I like to do it is take a tiny bit of product underneath the tip of my nose, along the sides of the tip, and sometimes I'll even add a little bit of a circular motion there to make it look like I have a more turned up nose. Typically I do this without a product um, that has any shimmer or sheen, but I actually do like the look of it with CoverGirl's True Blend Bronzer if you just use like the tiniest amount of product possible. And then I'm going in with CoverGirl's Cheekers in 170 Golden Pink. I love this blush and I'm just patting it along from where the contour is a bit upwards. This looks natural and it just gives a little more color to the skin. And CoverGirl's Brown Eye Makers is next. I'm using the shade Soft Brown, which is a very universal shade and great for filling in brows with a soft hand. I'm adding more volume in sparse areas and then setting my brows in place with CoverGirl's Professional Natural Lash, which you can use as a clear mascara or to set your brows. Here is my bare eye, and now it's time to really transform the look. I'm using CoverGirl's True Naked Goldens palette. This is one of my favorites. It's very pigmented, easy to blend shadows, and they have a great selection for fall. So there's some golds, browns, bronzes, some greeny shades. So the first shadow I am using is called Cookie, and it's a matte light brown. I'm taking it just above the crease, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner in a very rounded windshield wiper motion, just going back and forth, almost blended all the way up to the brow bone because I want some depth to the eye without using too many dark shadows. So I'm just using a medium toned one to sculpt out the look. Also take the shadow and apply it to the um, all of the lid so that you have a base shadow. Second shadow we're going to use is this coppery bronze. It's so pretty, it's called Ginger. And I'm taking a more precise brush and I'm applying this more directly into the crease. Taking the greeny shadow a crew, we're going to make this darker and smokier by taking it in the inner corner and really packing it on. On the outer V, we're going to use the deepest shadow in the palette. This is called Sierra. It's a matte shade and it really helps sculpt out the look. I'm taking it really on the outer V and keeping it a bit sharper down on the lash line and then into the crease. We don't want it too rounded and blended out because the shadows are similar in shades so you don't want it to look muddy. And what really brings this look together is bringing in the gold shadow. Pack on Sunkissed with a tiny brush. You can even dampen this so that you have a stronger pigment and fill in that space that we left. I love the gold next to the deeper shadows, and to tie it all together, I'm bringing the gold shade in the inner corner and underneath the lash line. I find gold is great for any eye color, and this really makes it pop when it's right underneath the lash line and you don't have any dark shadows, keep the darkness up on top. I think this is a really cool, wearable fall look, and now all that's next is mascara. This is CoverGirl's new So Lashy Mascara by Blast Pro. If you have straight, thin, curly, or sparse lashes, this mascara has you covered with multiple zones so you can customize your application. It's really like three mascaras in one and I love it. And I'm using all three zones, including the lash finder tip as my secret weapon to dark, bold, sexy lashes. So here I've done a couple coats just to see how bold I could get my kind of sparse lashes and I'm so happy with the result. It looks like just as good as falsies, so no need for falsies today. And there are also eight different colors as well as waterproof options, so you should definitely check it out. 
For lips, this is one of my favorite lipsticks ever by CoverGirl, Katie Cat Matte in Sphinx. It's the perfect pink nude and I love the demi matte finish, it's super comfortable to wear. And now back to the golden pink cheekers blush. I'm using this kind of as a lip liner so I'm fading the powder from my lip line into the center for dimension. And then finally with Sun Kissed Gold Shadow from the True Naked Goldens palette, use this in the center of the lip, just lightly dust it along and then on the cupid's bow and I think this really adds a multi-dimensional look that goes perfectly with the eyes. Take the shadow chiffon from the eyeshadow palette and apply touches of this to the tip of the nose and cheekbones as a highlight. This creates a really pretty gold finish and I'm not actually using the main gold shadow but it does appear pretty gold on my fair skin. And a little more of the new So Lashy Mascara. I think this is the boldest, longest, separated my lashes have looked without looking clumpy. So I'd love to know what you think of this full makeup look. And now quickly, how I styled today's hair and outfit. I paired this wearable metallic look with loose waves that I've just combed out and you can get a similar look and wave if you use a 25 by 25 millimeter wand and then brush it out. And for fall fashion, fall fashion is my favorite, I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. I'm just using a uh, vest for layering but it's not quite chilly out so I'm leaving my arms bare. Then I have this metallic scarf to tie in with the makeup. I'm switching it up with this cute beret hat and I hope you like this look. If you'd like to see more details on the outfit then head over to my Instagram at Jackie Wires. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall look and if you did, as always, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also in the down bar you'll find a link to CoverGirl's YouTube channel if you're interested in some more tips and tricks and tutorials, then make sure to head over there. And if you want to keep up with me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all of my links are also in the down bar. So make sure to check those out if you want to keep up with me every way possible. And if you have any requests, you can let me know in the comments or on other social media pages. I'm always looking for new ideas and happy fall. I will see you guys in my next video.